Okay, so now that we've covered the first little bit of, um, and this is like before even 10 minutes into the fucking video, folks. I mean, the fuck, man. So Colburn on the stand said that in 1995, he told the caller from Calumet County that he, they, that that person would need to speak with a detective and he transferred the call. In reality, what he said was, oh, we've already got the right guy and then hung up the phone. Not only that, but he didn't even file a fucking report on that specific call until eight years later, the day after Stephen Avery was released. Am I the only one seeing the implications of this? The implications are very clear, folks. The fact is, is that Colburn knew he was doing wrong and he tried to cover it up. Because, you know, what's another eight years of a man's life? You dog. Um, then the defense says, uh, or the defense asks him, you know, why didn't you make a log of that? And he's like, well, if I made a log of every call that I made, that's all I would do. If I was to file a report for every call that I received, that's all I would do every day. Well, apparently that's all you're good for. <laughs> um, so the defense asks him, well, how many calls have you received about a potential, you know, wrong convict situation? And he admits on the stand, and I quote, um, that he couldn't think of any other time that that was the only call that he could remember ever receiving like that. And you don't feel that that's noteworthy. He then says, this is the first time my integrity has been questioned. And no, I did not uh, plant evidence or anything of that. Nature. And I'm going, uh, wait, you're young yet. <laughs> because clearly you're ridiculous. Now, Sergeant Colburn was the shift commander on November 3rd of 2005. And he could have had any other officer go out to the Avery property to inquire as to Teresa Halbach. He didn't. He chose to go himself. And not only did he choose to go himself, he went alone. You're going out to a salvage yard. A salvage yard that is known around the area to have people with guns and people who distrust police with good reason. And it didn't occur to you to take somebody with you for backup, if only for your own safety? Bad juju. Um, now, the report for what transpired on November 3rd was not written until June of 2006. Why the eight month lag, Sergeant Colburn? Do you just have an issue with writing your fucking reports? Because you seemed, and why the number eight? You didn't file a report for eight years and now you haven't filed a report for eight fucking months? Is eight your lucky number? Uh, Manitowoc County Sheriff's Department did not follow conflict of interest procedure. Conflict of interest procedure distinctly states that you are to back the fuck off and back the hell out of the investigation. You're not supposed to be involved in the investigation at all. They did not follow conflict of interest procedure. They were right in the middle of it. They had an active role in the investigation. That right there is suspicious and, and deserves to have 90% of the evidence thrown out. Um, now it has been proven that on November 5th, 6th, 7th, and 8th, Sergeant Colburn was inside Stephen Avery's house during those, those days. 
Why? Why would you not search anywhere else on the property? Come on. That... And not only was Sergeant Colburn the one searching these properties on those four days, Link was with them every step of the way like the little lap dog that he is, which I find hilarious since Link is technically uh, a higher rank than Colburn. Uh, and then Colburn's, uh, official contribution to the police report amounted to less than half a page. In that less than half a page, he did not mention the key at all. At all. Why? Why didn't you mention? That's kind of a big thing there, Colburn. Now, when the defense asks him, how many calls of wrongful conviction have you received? Sergeant Colburn responds, I don't know. I can't recall any other. And while he's saying this, he's like, you know, got this extremely worried expression on his face and he's looking directly at Kratz. Watch that section of episode seven and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's, I'm telling you folks, body language never, ever lies. It never lies. Um, now Sergeant Jason Orth is, uh, of the Manitowoc County Sheriff's Department. He was the first responding officer on scene on November 5th at 10 59 AM is when he arrived. And he was the first responding officer after Pamela Sturm called in, uh, the location of Teresa Hallbach's vehicle, but he didn't start a log of anybody coming to or from that vehicle until 2.45 that afternoon. And he states that prior to that, he took his field notebook out of his pocket and he was writing that down. But conveniently, that notebook is gone. He has no idea where it is, if he disposed of it. Why would you get rid of something so important? Or was there something on there that you didn't want other people to see? Or did you not want to see that pages were ripped out? Think, people, think. Um, he then says that no police officer or citizen touched the RAV4. And he claims that he didn't see Lieutenant uh, Lank or Sergeant Colburn at the, uh, at the scene. But he also didn't prepare a log. He doesn't know where his notes are. So how reliable is he? Seriously. I mean, at this point, I don't trust any one of the Manitowoc County Sheriff's deputies. And I don't trust them precisely because they seem to be worse than the Keystone cops. At least the Keystone cops were entertaining. Now, for four hours, that car was under the control of Manitowoc County Sheriff's Department. You know, the sheriff's department that was supposed to have been away from the investigation due to a conflict of interest. That car was under their control and nobody finds this unusual. Nobody finds this strange or telling or just flat out fucking suspicious. Come on, folks. Link sign out. Um, out of on the log, he signed out along with Colburn and Remaker at 10.41 p.m. on November 5th. But he never signed in. Now, this is telling, and I, and I will tell you why. We will address why Sergeant Colburn signing out but not in is an interesting little detail in the very next video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. See you soon.